welcome to the NetSuite training video provided by Trustangle Company. My name is Sarah Siufi, and in today's video, we will be going over how to create an inventory item record. To create a new inventory item, we will go to the lists, accounting, items, then click on new. On this page, we will select the type of the item that we want to create. And if you click on the help icon, NetSuite will provide the help page explaining more about how to create item record. And to read more about the types of the item you can create in NetSuite, you can click on item types. Now we will choose the item type. And in my case, I will choose inventory item. In the inventory item page, all the fields with an asterisk are mandatory. And if you click on the field label, you will get a description for that field. For the item name number, it is the item unique code. It cannot be duplicated. For the display name, it is the item name and you can write a brief description for that item. For the vendor name code, you will write the vendor name or code for that item. The sub-item field. If this item is sub-item of another one, you can choose the base or parent item in this field. Choose the subsidiary for that item. And then choose the class. And it is a good practice to assign your item to a class for reporting purpose. Choose the unit type and you can choose different units for stock, purchase, and sell. But you can only choose from the units that are under the unit type each. For example, I will choose the primary stock to be box. And for the purchase, I will choose box. But for the sale unit, I will sell this item by each. In the Sales and the Pricing sub-tab, write the sales description. On the pricing, you can assign the basic price for each currency for that item. In the Purchasing and Inventory sub-tab, choose the costing method that will determine how our inventory costing calculations are handled. For the vendors, you can assign one or more vendors for that item with their code, subsidiary, and you can choose one vendor to be preferred. In the Accounting sub-tab, choose the Cox account in order to track the cost of that item. We will track the value of the inventory on hand for this item in the account we select for Assets account. Choose the income account, and it's important to know that if there is no income account is selected, the item will not show in the item drop-down list for the sales transactions. Choose the tax schedule. In the communication sub-tab, if you have any files related to that item, you can attach these files here. When you finish, click Save. Thank you for watching. This video was brought to you by Trustangle Team.